10 minutes later, you get a take back. Don't play that for nobody. Don't play it for nobody else. Another star you you worked for who's always kind of been himself, um, worked with, I should say, uh, was 40. And um, one of, one of the, the coolest moments about your time with him is I read somewhere that you texted him or sent him the hook to function at like 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. Were you nervous to get his response? And did you know that that was a smash as soon as you wrote it? No, you know, you know, it's crazy. The me at at the time, me and Forty had already been developing a relationship in the cut. So me, I wasn't just gonna, we weren't just gonna send him anything. He actually had hit my manager at the time, Pun. Uh, he had hit Pun. They he Pun had the League of Stars, a production crew, so he would hit Pun constantly for beats. But as I was ascending, the smart thing to do was like, well, let's let me throw myself on all these hooks because I'm getting hot, and it just makes sense. You know, people just yeah. want to smoke down there there. So. We just chilling in the morning, three times in the morning. And you know, I do it. Pun like, man, send me that shit right now. I'm about to send this shit to 40 right now. I'm like, nigga, that nigga ain't up. He's like, man, I'm gonna send it right there. He sends it 10 minutes later, you get a take back. Don't play that for nobody. Don't play it for nobody else. Two weeks later, I hear uh, they got YG and Sue on it. <laughs> At the time, I'm knowing who YG is. He just getting bubbling and Sue had just dropped up. I'm like, okay. Then I hear, oh, this is gonna be the single. Oh, we going on 106 in Park. This shit just started happening, like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, the remix is done. It already got everybody that's everybody on it. It was, it was wild. It was, it was crazy. So, yeah, you, sometimes you just got to send that shit when you feel it. That's what I learned that day. Yeah, yeah, you know. But so when you kind of started to see all of that stuff happen, was that one of the, like, first real moments where you're like, okay, this is really, like, going to the next level? Man, I... That was that one. The thing is, it was. This goes back to the Snoop thing. The Snoop thing taught me to never get too high, mm. because you can always, and the next day can come and crack you in the face, or the next day you could drop. So always stay even keel. So by that time, I had already learned to just go with the game instead of like the excitement. Like my excitement period was that six months of every yeah. day of not knowing what the fuck is gonna walk into this room every day so I was like again I was at college I was I learned how to not that because that could have drove me crazy you know what I'm saying yeah. it was like, nah let the moment happen just live in the moment go create more moments go get Mollywood ready because you don't want to just be the only guy on that hook go get go get your company together go get bad luck go get go get started on your own and let that jewel just build and just just accept whatever God has for you from that and just go create more of those. Go keep being given is what my, what, what my shit turned into. Is that something that you uh, keep close to you in terms of like never getting too high, never getting too low? Because you've been in the game for so long and you've been able to stay consistent more than a lot of artists. Um, mm -hmm. Do you kind of have to always remind yourself to stay in that middle ground of, of being humble? You know, yeah, constantly. Um, more recently, I'm, I'm way better at it now just with age. I have a great team around me, great team of guys. Diamond Lane is, is more family than business. So we we don't really pull any punches with each other, and that helps. You know what I'm saying? Terrence being one of the biggest producers of all time is somebody that I call a lot, and he knows how to keep you humble and give you grace at the same time. Yeah, man, I, 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 I more so give it to the crew of people I've been around is why I've been able to stay so level-headed because I wouldn't have known how. I, I never knew this life was for me. You know, this wasn't this wasn't a thing that I like grew up wanting to do. Like I didn't start really rapping until I was 20, 21. But I just always knew to just work hard. And then the game just started taking care of me, man. It just started making sure that I was okay. Long as I paid my respect and my homage to, to those before me and always did what was right, it, I look up and it's 10, 11 years later. 